Let's see if this delivers. Right now, the internet is abuzz with people arguing over whether Napoleon was left-handed, as you see here, or not. But, if, if he was, then they're only fluking it in this movie, because they've shown the whole damned unit left-handed. Look! The burning of Moscow, the very moment when the fates finally abandoned his stellar career. His coronation, yes, he seized the crown from the Pope's hands and crowned himself. The judicial murder of Marie Antoinette, we presume, just the treatment that the monarchists didn't give Napoleon when they got the upper hand. What would you do? No doubt you'll send the chaos in the streets. We must make an example. Our France will fall. Who if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? Ooh, ooh, I know. A whiff of grape shot. So we correctly see Napoleon load the cannons with grape shot and slaughter a crowd of a monarchist uprising. I promise you brilliant successes. Please, Napoleon did not mumble. He, he spoke in a ringing metallic voice like this. Always. Wonder why that list didn't include Kingdom of Wokeness. Now, honestly, the most historically accurate of all those films was Alien, so my hopes aren't high this time. What is this costume you have on? This is meant to be Josephine de Beauharnais. Honestly, no society woman in her right mind would go to a ball with short hair like God. What is this? She was from the Caribbean, she was a Creole from Martinique, and she urged him to reintroduce slavery. Nah, bugger it, make her look like a feminist. It's for a modern audience, remember. This is my uniform. So I led the French victory at Toulon. Correct, he did. It was a monster of a victory, although tainted by the loss of the French fleet based in Toulon. Over many foreign powers, Napoleon covered himself in glory, even getting wounded in the thigh by a bayonet in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But I suspect this will be a low effort compared to the BBC's Heroes and Villains series. But I will give it a go when it comes. What is your name? Napoleon. Has the course of my life just changed? Napoleon. I love what I see, except for the fact that the Sphinx's head alone was protruding from the sand in those days, not the body. No way, the French are blasting the pyramid. <laughs> this debunks itself. That Napoleon brought 200 scientists with him and founded the science of Egyptology. There is no way in heaven or on earth he deliberately vandalized the antiquities. And by the way, there's a large army down there. <laughs> that should be what they're aiming at. This is undoubtedly the Battle of the Pyramids, which was actually fought with the pyramids visible in the distance, not actually in their shadow. But those in power will only see me as a sword. I suggest you take the throne. Is it this is probably meant to be that great survivor, Talleyrand. Shall we vote? This is Napoleon's military coup of 18 Brumaire, where I like the fact that the politicians are in a uniform and a really dicky one. That's great. I've ringed some of them here, but look for them in my video, The 40 Coolest Uniforms in History, when I show a bizarre civilian uniforms as an honorable mentions. And you can see there how the coup was carried out by bearskin bonneted grenadiers. Yes, Josephine surely would have worn a wig over that god-awful Miley Cyrus hair we saw earlier. Plenty of YouTubers praising these battle scenes, but look at the friendly fire! The, the artillery is continuing to fire when its own men are advancing in front of it. 
I guarantee this is Waterloo here. With his egotism and his lack of simple good manners. Presumably no one else is present. Napoleon didn't do things like this in public. Not even with Marie Louise. You think you're great? You are just a tiny little brain. Cut the Joe Biden whispering and get us back into action. Undoubtedly Napoleon's first day in Moscow, shocked to find nobody there. All of Europe is uniting forces against me. What's the outcome of this if you don't succeed? Probably the Battle of Preussisch Eylau in 1807 when the Russians held Napoleon to his first draw. Your Majesty, we are discovered. Good. This is definitely the Battle of Berezina, 1812. I believe to be Napoleon's finest hour, a defeat but he got most of his army out of there when they should have all been killed in the Russian trap. It's a trap! He did this by brilliant deception, double bluff, and Hail Mary play, as we would say these days. I'm the first to admit when I make a mistake. The situation was so desperate that he ordered the standards with their treasured golden eagles buried. I simply never do. Although he lost 30,000 men, it should have been the entire army with him as a prisoner. I had to do this one day project because there are some hideously bad reviews of this trailer going around on YouTube. Joaquin Phoenix is another one. Like, if he's in the movie, it's gonna be a good movie. Like, that's just it. No Woody from Toy Story. That means it could very easily be another gladiator. The great Joaquin Phoenix simply looks too old. He should be 27 when he invaded Egypt, and 23 or 24 at this point here. Thank you folks for watching my humble one-man effort.